Um, I want to ask about another aspect of, of senior working. You know, one of the biggest economic challenges facing older workers is the increased risk of becoming disabled and unable to work, particularly because the likelihood of disability increases sharply with age. So from age 40 to 50, a worker's chance of becoming disabled doubles, and from age 50 to 60, it doubles once again. Social Security disability insurance is the only way that millions of these workers stay out of poverty when they get hurt. Now, people sometimes think of disability program as separate from retirement age social security, but both programs are about helping seniors. Fully 70% of social security disability insurance beneficiaries are in their 50s and in their 60s. Dr. Ricks, as a former senior policy advisor for the AARP, you're an expert on the economic hardships facing older workers. Can you explain how the social security disability system works? It works very much like the um, Social Security Retired Workers Program. It's an income or earnings protection program that protects workers from loss of earning in the face of severe disability. And that's disability that's going estimated to last at least a year or result in death. It is not a program for malingerers. The criteria for Eligibility for SSDI are very strict, and many individuals who apply for disability benefits never receive them. Okay, and just like regular Social Security, disability insurance is something people earn from working while they're working. Is that right? Yes. Okay, just to make sure I've got it. Yes. So why is the program so important to the financial security of older workers? The disability program, uh -huh. I think for the very reasons that you expressed older workers, and I do want to emphasize that disability can occur at any age, and most older workers are not disabled. But as you mentioned, they are more likely to become disabled with age, and that modest benefit that they receive from the Dis SSDI program is often all or a very significant portion of the income the household receives. And that's because they're generally unable to work or are um, very, very limited in what they can do. So their earnings are very low as well. And I understand that the modest benefits, they're about $1,165 a month, and they keep about 6.6 .6 million disabled Americans from falling into poverty. Does that sound about right, it does Dr. Ricks? Right. So sometimes the retirement fund runs low and sometimes the disability fund runs low. We've got these two funds in Social Security. Usually this is not a big deal. The government regularly transfers money back and forth between the two Social Security programs, retirement and disability. We've done it 11 times before in both directions um, that it's moved. But next year is different. The disability fund, this time we'll need a transfer, but the very first thing the House Republicans did when they came back in January, literally on the first day of the new Congress, was to pass a new rule to prevent a routine transfer to the disability fund. Now, let's be clear, this is an invented social security crisis, taking the disability system hostage in a war to dismantle social security inch by inch. If they get their way, uh, the House Republicans will force disabled Americans, most of them seniors, to face a 20% cut in their Social Security checks next year. Dr. Ricks, the House Republicans argue that we need to gut Social Security disability program in order to save it. Do you disagree? I do disagree. I think that the Social Security disability system needs reform, but it does not need gutting. It's too important to today's America, uh, disabled Americans, regardless of age. And I, for one, would um, uh, resist any attempt to uh, gut the program if I were in a position to do so. Well, thank you very much. When we talk about working seniors and what it means to be a working senior, I just want to be clear about this one. This is a ploy that doesn't fool anyone. It's an attack on seniors, and it's time to stop playing games with the economic stability of millions of seniors who depend on Social Security to live with dignity. Thank you, Dr. Ricks. Thank you, Madam Chairman.